Hi and welcome to Fruit Adventure Boris. I'm here in Ecuador, Fruit Haven Eco Village. We have the fruit paradise, a lot of fruits. And uh, I've just been looking through some old videos. Three years ago I traveled to Nepal, 2017 in April, and I trekked the Himalayan mountains Annapurna circuit. So I put together the video and here's what I got. Chicken backpack. <laughs> Chicken backpack. походка по Анапурне. Тут Саша из России. So here we are in the Prima circuit and uh, Beautiful waterfall. Still on the road. Some bikes, dirt bikes, trucks. And yeah. Enjoy the rainbow, guys. There we go. Лучше будем входить в воду. Не знаю, что за вода. Сашка, что скажешь? in the circuit and if you trust if you believe if you feel it you're gonna have it we do we're gonna find something a little overpriced but I found a shop that has local apples 40 rupee a piece 200 rupee for a kilo of oranges and I'm set them off for now it's not so cold so there's some roads with 
car is just not here, but it certainly looks like there've been jeeps here, but not now. Parallel road over there. You can see it. I'm not sure right there. Anyway, so really sweet, really good, soft. Doesn't look like a lot of people buy it. Maybe it's too expensive. Hi, friend. Hey, hey. Not so friendly. <laughs> so beautiful. Finally, finally the last stretch. I'm gonna do a run. Good morning. Day four of the hike. And I found some grapes. Very good. Here we are. Starting to get the snow peaks. Look at these mountains, wow. I feel you buddy, it's amazing. It's amazing. The uh, journey continues. Grapes, apples, oranges. I had pomegranates, not usually my most favorite, really good. But I don't know, I had so much. I don't wanna carry like five extra kilos and uh, yeah, local apples. Yeah, so it's possible that it's uh, uh, one issue is you've got to make sure to get at least something. So I get like, you know, veggies, tea from the tea houses. That way they don't want to charge you for the room. So you, you but yeah, it's better. Um, yeah, so just took the fork. There's the other, wow, it's it's really like something else here. Completely different change in scenery. And uh, we've been walking here from Chamay to Upper Pisang. And what else? Very nice, very nice walk. Lots of samosas on this part of the journey. So for you guys that like cooked stuff. You have that choice. And we'll see what happens. Uh, I think from here on we'll be moving even slower. Felt like a much quicker journey maybe because I rehydrated with these grapes. They're fantastic. The apples are good too. Get them soft but not rotten and uh, chew them well because of the fiber. I generally not a big fan of apples but they're okay. So, weather's good, sun is shining, the mountains are huge and amazing, wind sometimes comes in, fruit is limited and a little bit more expensive, but I mean, look, everything's more expensive here, whether it's rice or noodles or vegetables, so, yeah, overall though, much cheaper than I'm sure any European country. I mean, I'm spending less than 10 US dollars per day. I would say average about maybe seven, six, I don't know. Uh, that includes accommodation, food, tea, you know. Well, for me, fruits and some veggies here and there. Well, and yeah, so the thing is, like, well, I want to talk about some stuff, walk and talk, and uh, yeah, if you believe, if you feel, and your thoughts are clear and focused, your ideal 
still you'll find the right people, the right food, the right places, whatever it is you're looking for, whatever it is you might want. Maybe you don't even know what you want. You can find out. I didn't know it was gonna be windy now on uh, day four the scenery is completely different and I'm expecting the next part to be even more snow-capped mountains it's just incredible here the water glacial water to say about yesterday was just incredible coming to Chimay the little village is uh, great they have hot springs you can soak and relax and you know what my legs don't even feel so bad after 27 kilometers plus another 28 or whatever it's the shoulders i think these straps are just not so good and i figured out a way to get the uh, weight more on the bottom on the uh, hips and that way there's less pain on the shoulder muscles um, as well as assisting with the hands you know carrying with this seems to be doing the trick so much better and uh, almost there I'm still using my barefoot minimalist zero shoes and they've been working great weather is fine here uh, it's good to have a fleece though I definitely have a little bit too much stuff um, just one too many jackets and one too much sweater unnecessary you have warm jacket waterproof jacket fleece pants and shorts that's all you really need and then maybe some basics like a toothbrush your phone and charger ah. a little bag for the fruits here I'm carrying some oranges, apples, tomatoes. Stop for a picture. This is really interesting trees. I don't remember seeing them anywhere. But I'm sure they exist elsewhere in these kinds of climates. Very nice forest. Reminds me of Canada or Russia or something like this. But we're here in Nepal. This is uh, well, I just left from... Well, not just left left today from 2700 meters above sea level um we're chilly in the morning not too bad the goal today is to reach 2000 and i'll get back here shortly where i'm at right now so, turns out i'm at uh, 3100 roughly and the goal is actually 3600 and there might be a tougher part coming up where it's going to be a big drop and then rise again so we'll see for now enjoying magnificent views mountains and trees and not a difficult walk small hill and then we're on a flat again Ruske Gavarashi Shasevna 3000 meters not uh, the right, Moria. Uh, Very impressive. And this is classy. And I'm sure you can still find the fruits. Of course, there are a lot of fruits, but I'm more into fruits. I found the apples, the mandarins, and the даже виноград есть и цены даже не такие уже плохие больше конечно чем в городе но понятно где мы и э, стоимость все равно дешевле чем в Канаде или в России Okay, here up 
Hanifer Pasang. Amazing Hanapurna. This is Hanapurna 2, almost 8,000 meters. Some of the highest mountains in the world. We have the beautiful valley. I think that's tomorrow. We and 3,000 something, something thousand. Monastery overlooking the Annapurna 2, which is out there. Oh, yeah. Where is it? It's okay. It's this thing one day. Temple in the Annapurna circuit. And uh, this right here. Somewhere is the highest peak. Started over here. I don't know if it's even visible. <laughs> now we are somewhere here. From here, going up and around the highest lake in the world. And then going up the pass, which is a high point, and getting back somehow either this way or maybe going here or here. Just above Lower Pisang, which is somewhere down there I came from. And this is the peak. The hill was quite steep. And of course, the tradition was Oh, I didn't realize it looks like a village over there. Another incredible village. And this is the road out. Um, so far, best part of the journey. Amazing. We'll do it again. introvertedness that comes out here. I love being alone on this trail. And that's the little village over there. There's Annapurna 2 again. Let me continue. Finally, after a big scramble, well, not a scramble, but a pretty steep hill where a group of, well, two and two, four people in total turned around and said, that's not the way. My instinct said, there's a trail, this is it. 3,777 meters. Boom. Yeah. Yes. Oh, 
еще есть там гора <laughs> на каждом углу. Это видео. This is the Himalayas and Do you use Viber or WhatsApp? Mm -hmm. Put my phone number in. towards the Licha Lake base camp. From my name of the town, the village. Um, good, good to be reunited and we'll see them again there. So it's these uh, little villages along the way. Not stopping at everyone, so just like this one, all through. But if you've had enough of walking, stay. Here I am, finding, oh yeah, this is beauty, <coughs> the valley below us, there's a bridge, so I guess there may have been some other road, it's not cold enough for me to wear shoes yet, but when it will, I will put them on. Thousand two hundred meters made it to a peak of some sort. Guess what? This is much higher. Five thousand two hundred, no, five thousand twenty-five meters. You can barely breathe. Five thousand twenty-five meters above sea level, surrounded by ice and snow. Sorry, just passing through.
There's very little wind, it's not cold, sun up above, protected. This is pretty well the perfect hike. Not too steep and not too easy either. Beautiful canopy and you know, landscape is just amazing. Totally alone right now. Five thousand two hundred fifty four. Only a hundred fifty more meters to go. <laughs> One kilometer to the pass. <laughs> and we're in heaven here pretty much. Excruciating. Five thousand four hundred and uh, ten. Just in time for the clouds to roll in. And of course there's a tea shop in tradition. The wrong La Paz. Oh, it says 16 over there, mine says 10. Six off. <sighs> Can't breathe. No oxygen. Jot, Sashka, Mizali, Petisic, Chitiris, Tashislat, Tmetrov, Kusha, Mapilsin. Great, thank you for making it to the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. I stopped filming, I guess, after this point, and uh, there's a lot of photos, so you can check them out in the Google Photo album linked below in the description. Like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Catch you the next fruit adventure.